Hey guys, this is Masquerade, and welcome back to Kyoto from Nusekai, also known as World of Horror. Now, I went back to the website a couple days ago and noticed that there was, in fact, a brand new demo. So, this is really exciting. So, I haven't really had a chance to really play around with it too much. But, the fact that we have a whole new way of playing the game is pretty exciting. Plus, um, you know, all this brand new artwork here is amazing and wonderful and very Genji Ito. But what I found most interesting playing around with the menus is that we have card expansion packs, so to speak. So how awesome is that? The game may update with, like, expansion pack cards to just give you a whole new experience and whole new horrors to deal with. I love it. Okay, now I have said we are going to beat this demo. We are going to beat this game, and that's exactly what I'm aiming to do. So, without further ado, let's check this out. Okay, so it looks like everything else has stayed the same for the most part. We can pick characters. Brand new artwork for a couple of them. That's a new one for the uh, swimming team captain. Everyone else seems pretty standard. At the beginning, no one had an idea over again. Someone had to do it. Standard game? Oh! Interesting! So we have different ways of playing the game, but for right now, we are just going to do the standard game. Um, we can pick our old gods that we're going to deal with. Awesome. So we have the spider god, which I'm tired of dealing with. Doubles combat, stamina penalties, uh, no thank you. Casting spells costs reason, increases doom instead. Hmm. I don't really cast spells. We may use that one. Let me keep looking. Uh, mirror horror. Resting increases doom penalty, no thank you. Okay, so... For the spider god, we can't escape combat, which is stupid, so I'm not choosing that one. It hot to... It's hot. The all-devouring flame. Interesting. Uh, doubles combat stamina penalties. No thanks. So I think we'll choose Athyolzith, the demented towering eye. The mad god favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Athyolzith's bloating body closer and closer to Earth. Oh, so that's why casting spells brings it closer. Gotcha. Okay. So difficulty level, standard, so we start with 4 bucks, or 4 yen, I believe it is, and we can pick our soundtrack. We'll stick with the standard one for right now, and we'll change it over um, later. And I'm guessing the question mark is supposed to be help, I'm clicking on it, nothing's happening. Okay, let's just make sure... Okay, so they just give you the basic stats for this one, plus knowledge, minus strength, starts with one random spell. Well, you're kind of detrimental then, so, um, we're not gonna choose you. Great Surviving and Ghost... Oh. Determine to solve the mystery. Plus dexterity, minus knowledge, starts with a flashlight. Uh, Haru, the Yakuza driver, plus strength, minus knowledge. Uh... Plus charisma, minus strength, the, um, the school idol. Starts with a random ally. Now, that's an ally card. And those can give you random stats or weaknesses based on who it is. Uh, plus perception minus dexterity starts with the camera. Ooh, we may just pick this guy. Yeah, why not? Let's pick this guy. Uh, Koji Tagawa, 19, a photographer. All right, Mr. Tagawa, let's solve some mysteries. Missing stars. It's Hellstar Ramina. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Couldn't have any connection with the news about stars getting missing in the night sky? It's Hellstar Ramina! With supernatural abilities. Okay. Press H for random tip. New mystery available. Oh! Items. Minus two to enemy combat rolls. Oh, cool! Can I equip it? I can equip it! Awesome! Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so all of my stuff is over here. That's great. So spells, I don't have any. Status, um, nothing's affecting me yet. Um, my level and my experience, awesome. It's more on the old god and the doom counter. Impending doom and mystery solved. Awesome! 
Okay, it's kind of nice that everything's kind of right there. Testing lines, welcome to Kill from the Sakai, World of Horror, this is the activity log, so all the updates and everything go down here. Um, remind me to pay more attention to what's going on down here, because this is where I see where I'm earning cards and everything. Alright, without further ado, new mystery. Ooh! <gasps> I can pick them? Yes! Oh, an Uzumaki. Uzumaki. Let's see, a case of the contagious coma. Horrible history of household hell. We've done that one already. Uh, curious case of contagious coma. Game. Stop. Uh, it, three times? Alarming account of abnormal arms, which we were on last time before um, I actually ran out of stamina. I went back and watched the video, so what happened was that I ran out of... Um, you have, like, stamina and sanity. So... Oh yeah, so see over here, stamina and reason. If you run out of one of these, it's game over. Well, I guess we have no choice. Let us do Curious Case of the Contagious Coma, Part 1. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into coma themselves. Well, that's scary. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated to the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how did this strange illness start? All right, let's do it. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the coma. I should start checking out downtown. Investigate the village location twice to complete the additional patient. Patient zero is from the village? Okay, so we still have the um, bonuses there. So let's uh, hop over to the village, which takes seven hours, and let's take a look. Feeling hungry, you've en entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did these fishermen go? Oh, yuck! Eyeballs! No! Just no. Ah, oh, That sucks. So that brought my reason down. That sucks. Alright, one more time. Oh no, a fight! Now, we've learned our lesson from this. <laughs> we don't fight. Well, I have a camera, which can um, make negative two to rolls. Uh, well, let's see what we're up against. Our master is coming, and we can all bask in its glory. Uh, quick tutorial. This is a combat screen. Enemy stats here. Move the mouse here. We'll check enemy's unique skill, which I can't quite see because the screen's blurred. Additional actions. Each time you attack, a dice roll is made. Higher value wins the turn. Different attacks give you different bonus rolls. Okay. Magician. One of the many people granted maddening powers by Athiolazeth. Crap. Relentlessness? You can't escape because it's can't Son of a hell! Um... You got a new injury card. What did I do? An old man hands you a package. This should help. Plus item. I... Can I... Dust of seeing. Compose. You take a deep breath, you still have a chance. 2D plus 1, 1D plus 2. Can I use the camera? We'll have it equipped. So I guess that means it's just a... It's just a skill. Alright, let's... Taking too long is giving me damage or something. I, I can't see what it is. Did, did I you hit the magician? Oh, I'm, st I'm still going? I've defeated the magician! I get 7 XP. And it looks like... I'm still good. Right? What? Let, let me let me go please and I ran I've unlocked a new character cool okay so we're done with the village and now we can move on so we're going to the hospital when the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens the police had them committed they're mumbling 
watching them quietly as they pass by. Don't get close. You decided to get a life enough crazy people for a lifetime. Agreed. Very much so agreed. Okay. Investigating the hospital still. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the crap? Okay, it's a bug. I'm gonna have to stop for a second and resolve this. Be one be right back in one second. Okay, and we're back. Unfortunately, I had no way around that. That had to stop the game for us, so we need to start all over again. So it looks like we still have a couple of problems. Uh, but that's okay, because this is just a demo. This is just this is still a very early build and is still something of a um a workaround. So I can't I can't really give it a lot of crap. But it's, it's bugs happen. Bugs happen. That's fine. Okay, so I think we're gonna switch the um, soundtrack around. Um, in the last demo, the alternate soundtrack didn't work. Let's see what happens when we start this one up. Ooh, ooh, I like it. I like it mostly because it's different. The last music was really getting on my nerves. I'd, I'd really like an option where I can go back and just change the music whenever I want. Um. Oh. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. Um, I'm liking the, um. Freaky feature of found footage. I haven't done that one yet. Found footage, actually, I found is fairly common in Japanese urban legends and folklore. So, um. Let's do that one first. I mean, screw the coma patients. Here Susan disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forests, as they do. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, suspicious man started asking questions. He claimed to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. The only thing is, the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what do the students discover out there? Well, obviously, he's a government agent who's making sure um, to cover up their loose ends, I suppose. Okay, additional- which story? Investigate the mansion. That's the mansion. Takes six hours. Okay. Camera's equipped. Let's do this. In the mirror you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Damn it! <laughs> Great start. Great start. The round window of the crooked manor tower is calling to you. You feel weaker and weaker looking at the bright light. Um, fight this feeling. We don't need this right now. Success. Just one glimpse of the Eldritch landscape is enough. You manage to cover your eyes and move to a spot where you can't see the damned window. You feel sick, but at least you are safe now. Ten experience, minus one reason. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Legend said the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two kids. Damn you, Blair Witch. Damn you. Okay. Uh, downtown first. Let's go. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When asked what's wrong, she tells you she can't find her mommy. On a backpack lying nearby, you spot the girl's address. Let's... Hmm. Now, taking her home may cost us some time. I guess that's the only thing. Um... Let the police handle it? I'm not seeing an upside or downside to that one, except a missed opportunity for something. Um, let's try taking her home. Success. You offer to take her home. Once you get there, however, the mother slams the door in both of your faces and starts screaming to get her way. The little girl calmly tells you she can take it from here. Ten plus experience minus two reason. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? Okay. Downtown again? Downtown again. Lying on a pillow in your bedroom, you find an envelope. Inside is cash and a note from someone who's been watching you. Shit. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how this envelope ended up in your bedroom? Time travelers, usually. <laughs> usually it's time travelers. Shit. I didn't even throw the money away. But that gave us some extra funds. Status? No. What was it? Game? Oh! I wasn't even looking at my stats. Okay. I was just looking at the funds that I had. That's okay. Okay, so next is the village. Day two, midnight. This should be fun. 
No one answers when you knock at Professor Takeuchi's door. Odd, as he's normally punctual about appointments. The smell of blur alerts you that something is wrong, and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. Bad decision. Extremely bad decision. There is no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt as to what has happened, but how and why. My only option is to search the room. Not get the fuck out and call the police. Guys, pro tip. If you go into your house or anywhere else, and you notice stuff is in disarray, there's been a fight or whatever, get the hell out and call the police. Don't go in, don't close the door, whoever caused it might still be there. Okay? Okay. Next 30 check success. You notice that the pages have been ripped from a certain book, now discarded under a desk. It's importance evidence to the bloody handprints. Five experience points. Man, poor, poor Professor Takeuchi though. Okay, next is the forest. Okay. Time to take the camera. Do your photographer job, and let's go find us a Blair Witch. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Flashlight reveals strange markings on the cave's wall. Attempt to recognize. Sure. Success. Man, he pays to be a photographer who knows his stuff. You recognize the strange symbols that connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Sure. Continue in the forest. Trees overhead block sunlight, and an atmosphere of gloom unsettles upon you. Two reasons. Suck it up! Suck it up! Suck it up! So the forest looks creepy. Suck it up! Every forest at night looks creepy. Wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and going and going by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected to the current mystery? Um, let's... We have a camera. Let's take a picture and analyze it later. You take a picture of the carvings to compare them to various sources at home. Awesome! Awesome! I'm still level one. That's okay. I guess what I missed from the old one is that I had all of my stats out here. Um, oh, and there's the additional actions. Shop for items, rest at home, buy the newspaper, check the rumors, minus one fun, possibly time. Okay. There's where my stored items are. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know for when I'm looking stuff over, but we have a Blair Witch to find. Wander through the woods, just guys, where are you guys? Take a picture. Alright. Investigate the site of the ritual. Ritual. The rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at a large hole in the ground. <laughs> On the table next to the camera, you find three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. You then hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Let's take the tapes and go. Let's take the tapes and go, please. You kneel down and look to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process that you are looking at. It's a giant eye staring right at you with its ear. Hypnotize you lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. Lose consciousness is my only option. In the very last moment, you're grabbed by a caller by a suspicious man who asked about the group earlier. He explains he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. He hands you the tapes and says you've got a bigger purpose than to die here. And we're done! We have solved this mystery. Okay, rewards for solving knowledge is key. 30 experience points. Throw investigation. 50 experience points. Tireless. Tireless. One reason in stamina. Okay, so I'm doing a little better. And one day has passed. So, I am still level one. Damn it. Where did the music go? Music! 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 Uh-oh. Oh, well, crap. And I have the forest tapes. Seemingly broken, but maybe you could find a way to repair them. Huh. Maybe I can. Oh, no! The music's gone! Ah, oh, that's what I get for changing it from the regular. Um, it doesn't look like I have a way to do that. That kind of sucks. Again, I really wish there was a way I could change the, um, the music. Well, okay. Um, what do you guys think? Should I continue with or without music? Well, I said I'm going to beat this game, and goddammit, I am going to beat this game. So, 
we're going to continue on. Let's continue with the uh, curious case of the coma. And let's keep at it. All right. So the same thing as before. Patient Zero was sent to the village. Uh, this again. Yep, fight screen again. And, um, just clicking. Tackle the enemy? I'll go for it. Magician saps strength from you. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Got you. Oh, did it pass me along? Well, damn. Oh, well. No one answers the door. It's Professor Takeuchi again. An old man hands you a package and decides to tell- Hey! You know what? Fine. Dust of sea. Momentarily render invisible creatures partially visible. Okay. Whatever. But I failed that check. Oh, well. Sucks. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Non-Euclidean? Non-Euclidean? Uh, and then the hospital. As part of their therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their works filled you with dread. Oh, they couldn't have been that bad. What? Wait, what? What? What happened? What did I do? What's going on? Why did I just pick three of two? What? Oh my, 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 my. There are quite a few bugs. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear disgusting slurping sounds coming from a closet. And it is... A bloodsucker! The ever-increasing chaos is waking up the absolute worst instincts in these people. Uh, enemy skill of vampire. Enemy regains health with each successful strike. That kind of sucks. Um. You throw dust of seeing in the air? Why? I can see it right in front of me. Why did I do that? Well, it's beating me up pretty bad. Or am I getting it? I'm not sure. I'm losing reason, though. And I'm here. Oh, boy. Quarantine wing. You managed to sneak through the, through the police and reach the quarantine wing where all the coma patients were brought in. Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, each connected to a patient. As you try to process anything, one of the disgusting creatures raises his head and looks in your direction. Prepare yourself. Creature's maw opens in a silent scream. Arm of the Dream Devourer. Run hopeless. Uh, well, do or die right here. Two sanity. Well, this could be it. That was it. Encounter was the last straw. Your mind is sat snapped and you've been locked in the asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane. No old god is awakening to devour humanity. The drugs haven't made the horrors disappear. That sucks. And there's the music. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not going to change the music next time. So, that was attempt number two. It went about as well as expected. <laughs> okay, um, there's some improvements, and there's still some bugs, which is somewhat unfortunate. We do have unlockables still, that's pretty cool. Let's see, backstab the traitor. Try to commit suicide! Game! Oh, game. Defeat an Eldritch enemy, so I guess I need to beat an enemy to unlock that for good. Costume. Meet your neighbor. Avenge your friends. Join the Lockwood Mafia. Become a star. Oh! These may be character related. Mystery achievement. Experience boost for completing a mystery. Time passes, 24 powers passes after completing a mystery. Bonus experience for completing a side mystery. And tireless. Oh, so I unlocked these already. Game ending, get insane. 
Okay, so the white ones are the ones I have unlocked already just by playing. Complete the main game, discover the secret behind the curious gem, let the old gods awaken. Okay, so these don't look difficult to earn. But it doesn't look like they really... These are the mystery achievements, and this wasn't... Too hard. Type costume. So I can make the characters wear something different? That's pretty cool. Okay, so... That is the new Kyofuna Sakai World of Horror. Again, link in the description down below if you want to give it a shot for yourself. And my mission has not ended. I'm going to beat this game. One of these days, I'm going to beat this game. I don't care how, it's happening. So, <laughs> I guess there isn't really much to say about it. But not today. Um, I'm not going to be able to beat it today. So, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. And I shall see you again real soon. Thank you.